Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Tuesday, and it was busy yesterday, man. Well, busy we did yesterday. not even shoot up. I didn't shoot nothing. You didn't shoot nothing. It was one of those Mondays. Gracie, smelling your dogs. Hey, lay down. Sorry. Got a question, and it got an answer. It really kind of started with Hope, and I wanted to know why are people so petty or miserable nowadays than in the past. And I'm, I'm going to throw out what he told us, okay? Oak does social media for a lot of businesses around town. And one of them, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you the name, is Buzzard Billy's. And he looks at their reviews just like we get reviews. Mm -hmm. And somebody was sitting on the deck on the river <clears throat> and then put in a bad review about Buzzard Billy's and it said... This place, some, some, some ain't no good because it does not have air conditioning on the outside. How, how do you? How, why are people like that? It, it didn't change. It's always been that way. God. It has always been that way. There was just no social media. Those people have always existed. But why? But but but, but you are, are you? They have to bitch about something. Oh my God! I have. I'm really like. When you walk outside and go, okay, there's fans, I'm outside, I'm on the river. God dang, it's a miserable deal because they did not care to me having air conditioning on an outside patch. I, I guess you're right, man. Those Why? people have always been around. They just didn't have a, an outlet other than the people sitting at their table. Yeah, that is. I guess that's where it's going. But it seems like with social media, it has become the bitch fest. It ain't. It is the literally the bitch fest of what's going wrong in my life. And I'll tell you we'll what. Tell if, you. if we weren't business owners, it would suck me in sometimes. Because there's sometimes I want to get on there and go, "You stupid sob! <laughs> Why are you sending shit like this? Why are you that, posting shit like this?" I don't disagree with that. I do not disagree with that. So I'm glad we're in the position we are. I do not disagree with because, that because you know I don't want to get trapped into that. You've seen posts that you go, what in, y'all are idiots. You yes. Know. <clears throat> but I just think we get instant gratification, now we get instant bitchiness. I can instantly bitch if it doesn't go my way. You know, this place ran out of chips, I'm going to bitch about it. This place, and I, Well, we go a little deeper, and I'm sure Hope does too, and anybody else does too. That is new, like us. Right. We're still new. Only right, two right. years in. Uh, if we get a review, if we get a review on Amazon Prime. Yes. We got good ones. We got horrible ones. Correct. Okay. I go a little deeper. Tim did too. Tim did too. And goes, you know, suck ass 55, because that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a bad comment. Then you click on him and you get to go see everything I, else that he has commented on. I have done that one time. Yet. And like Tim said, he found one that blasted us, blasted Star Wars, blasted Independence Day, every blasted day. Every, movie every movie that he commented on was horrible. Was was, was ho the worst movie ever. Well, maybe you need to do something else. I, I, yes, you're right. It is the. I just think people. And I did this, this, but are people just more, or does it make them more assholes, or now they're just, they have an outlet to be an asshole? Yeah, they just have an outlet. So what are you? Are you, you an, an asshole? asshole? That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Are you an asshole, or or has social media allowed you? And the, the person that answers this, it goes, yeah, I'm an asshole, and I'm social, I'm going to be like, that's pretty awesome right there. I. Pretty awesome. Have been places I wanted to give a bad review to. Yeah. I've been places that service sucked, food didn't come out right. Saturday night. And the time is right. It took a little longer. The girl never came over. Had to stop her four or five times. Uh, forgot one thing, bring one thing, forget the other. And it So was, what, what did you think about it? Mine was, they're busy as crap. I was like, she seems new. That's exactly what I thought. She seems a little bit flustered. So it was just, ma'am, 
when you get a second, can you for and the third she time. would forget and it'd be like, ma'am, I'm so sorry. So, or we could have been dicks or yeah. assholes where we're going and went, yeah, dang. Yeah. I, I just don't see the point in it. I mean. I think it's like arguing. Over, over a type of, there's, there's no right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You know, sometimes you can just argue and there's actually really no right answer. I do agree with that. And it's not two, two and two is four. It's always four, unless you're an Aggie. You know. Ooh. So, saying that, you know what I'd like people to do? What? Today? I would like them okay. to film themselves saying their favorite joke. Ooh, yeah, we can put it on. Then you can email it to us yeah. at info at redseatelevision.com. I'll put it up. Info at redseatelevision.com. Take your phone, that. film your film your favorite joke or two yep. in separate files and send it to Golly. us. And we'll start and we don't care if they're dirty, we don't, don't care, care if they're political, racial. We don't I care. don't care. We don't care. Because it's a joke. And if people can't take a joke, yeah, then they can go watch something. Else. I love that. Where did you come up with that? I was thinking of it yesterday. That is awesome. I was just Watching this sh little show I watched called Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. <laughs> <laughs> and he was having a lot of fun and telling jokes and stuff. And I remember we used to do the jo a joke, of the, a day. joke of the day. And we tried to get some people to film it, send in some stuff. They sent in pictures that's been our background before. Yeah. And I went, let's get people to... Because I love, I love a good joke. I agree. I love a good joke. And I love a bad joke, so we can make fun of it and laugh. Yes. So... Here's what's going to happen. Probably next week, since I'm going to be gone, I, when I get back from my little uh, cruise, I will probably have come up with this idea of the joke. So, I, well, I figured it was telepathic that I got it anyway. Probably it's so. Just become the probably norm. Probably so. But send us that, that info at redseatelevision.com. That is that, pretty that's good. That's spelled out, television. As it says. Today, lunch special is chicken and beef fajitas. Chicken and beef fajitas with a drink. It's $8. That's, ah, dang. That's pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap. Chicken and beef fajitas. Our sponsor today, Legacy Trailers. I actually got this right this time because I messed it up last time. Hey, and they are making trailers out of aluminum. Trust me. Which you mean, you just pick it up and move it like this. Trust me, folks, when that, the trailer that, exactly, that we got to pick up with one finger was, it was amazing. And if you got another project, we did a drum riser. Yep. We did a music riser. We did all kind of stuff. If you got it in your head, they can probably build it out of aluminum. 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 All right. All right, we're going to get out of here. Have a great day. Are you an asshole or not? Are you a bitcher? Are you a complainer? And be honest. Is Shane an asshole? Shane Christian? No, I don't think so. Because we saw him at the deal. I didn't either. No. I just want to throw his name out there. Shout out to Shane. All right, man. Have a wonderful day. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris.